welcome back to Vitaly style. How do you like my giant sweater? You know, it says you look like a pink snowman. Look how big it is. It's just huge, but it's so, so comfortable. It's from Zara. I don't know if they still have it or not, but you should look into it because it is really comfortable. Anyway, today I'm going to do my monthly favorites. I love doing monthly favorites, and then I hate doing monthly favorites because it just makes me realize, you know, the month has pretty much flown by, and the year, the time is just going by really fast. But it is, you know, we are in the holiday season, and that just thrills me to absolutely no end. So anyway, without further ado, let's talk about the things I absolutely loved this month, and a couple things that I just despise. And I do hate having those because, I don't know, I just don't like having those. The first thing I want to talk about is a primer that I've had for a long time, and I've actually, this is probably the second one I've had. I've been using this for a long time. This is the Mali Perfect Prep Primer. This is what I've been using pretty much all month long. Um, give or take a few times here and there. But this is a great, great primer. It makes you f your makeup just glide on. Um, and it's just, I can't really describe. It. The feeling is almost, like the texture of it is almost almost too wet, if that makes any sense, but it just kind of glides onto the skin, fills in the pores really, really well, and it's just an all-around awesome primer. I've had this for so long, and it's just, it's a real favorite. Along with a real favorite is what I have on my lips right now, which is just a lip liner, and this, look at my hair, my hair is crazy. And this is Soar Lip Pencil from MAC. That's all I have on my lips today. Um, that's all, like, when I've been wearing this, like, 90s nudish lip, this is what's been on my lips. I love it. It's just such a beautiful color. Um, it's a, yeah, it's kind of like a mauve-y, mauve color. It's hard to even describe the color, but it's awesome, and I love wearing it on its own. I think it makes for a gorgeous, like, plum, like plumped up nude lip, if that makes sense. The next favorite is a really crazy and really weird wild one, but they are so awesome. I don't even know what to do with myself. It's another shoe thing. I talked about something shoe related la in last week's favorites, but these are the Dr. Scholl's. I don't know what these are called, but they slide. The, the great thing about these is they slide into any shoe, like kind of any boot. I don't put these in my pumps because they just make my foot kind of fly out. They're too thick, but I wear these in every pair of boots with heels because it makes them 10 times more comfortable. And I don't know what they're called, but this is what they look like. You just slide them right in. They're really cushiony. They they just make every pair of boots that they have high heels. You can see those boots right there. I had some people ask about them. They are like thigh high. <laughs> I have a pair of gray ones and I have a pair of like olive green ones back there. They come up to the thigh. They're like four inch heel. I'm just into them right now over skinny jeans. I don't know why. And these the gray ones have like a their pointy toe stiletto kind of heel. And these make them so comfortable. I went dancing in them. And I don't go dancing, but I went dancing in them for my sister-in-law's 30th birthday. And they were just so comfortable. I was I stood in them all night long, and they're just phenomenal. By the way, those are from Aldo. Um, and they just make every pair of shoes comfortable. So you should really look into these. I'm going to grab, I'm going to see if Amazon has like a multi-pack of these because I would love to keep them on hand and just slide them to every pair of boots I have. Because right now I only have one. And I've been taking them one pair and putting them in the other and doing that over and over and over again. The next favorite is this mascara. It's pretty much all I have on my eye. And it's, you, it's kind of weird for me to only wear one kind of mascara. Usually I have to wear a couple different kinds. But... This is pretty much all I've been using if I'm using a, a mascara alone, and it is the Telescopic Carbon Black by L'Oreal. It makes your lashes look really, really long. It doesn't necessarily get, make it look like you have a million lashes, but what you do have makes them look really, really long. And I love the wand on this because I feel like you can get really, you know, at the very, very base of your lashes, and I love that because it makes it look like your lash band, it kind of darkens your lash band and just makes it look a lot like a fuller, I guess, but great, great drugstore mascara. And I am going to get that Chanel De Valume, whatever it's called, because I've heard a lot of people talk about it, and I am willing to give it a go. I'm trying to get my stuff out of here and listen to the mess I'm making. This foundation that I'm going to talk about I'm getting comfortable 
That's how, much, that's how passionate I am about this. It has surprised me so much, it's unbelievable. I am not a typical fan of these kinds of foundations, but this is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. And the color I have it in is 60 Sandy Beige. Now this is one of those foundations like from liquid to powder. I didn't like the one by L'Oreal that was like this. I felt like that was hardly any coverage and it just, I didn't really care for it. This is one of the best foundations from the drugstore I have ever tried. I know it's weird and it's crazy, but it's phenomenal. I personally love the finish. It does dry to a powder finish, but I, I have like normal to dryish skin and I was afraid that it was gonna like accentuate little dry patches I have, but it doesn't. It doesn't at all. It glides onto the skin so well, it gives me the most beautiful finish over a good primer like this one lasts a pretty good time a pretty long time and it is just I don't even know what to say I mean I was really when I bought I bought this months ago I had this in two different colors and I liked it but I thought well I really like it because it's summertime and my face is just a little more dewy it's a more hydrated I didn't think this was ever going to work for me in the fall winter months but I actually think I like it better now than I did then it is so good, you need to give this a try. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how good this foundation is. And just the finish of it is just beautiful. Definitely a fan. I am so, I get so excited when I find drugstore products that I think are so worth it. And they can almost be, in my opinion, like rival expensive products. And this is one of them. If you had to give me this one or the, I'm gonna give you a really good comparison different finishes but you get the point if you had to get to ask me what do you prefer they want this one or do you prefer this YSL foundation I would tell you without hesitation without even thinking about it I would pick this over this any day of the week this one makes me look like enough uh, fully um, greasy and like an oil slick and I'm not even oily so this is a foundation I hardly ever use and it was like 60 some dollars this makes me look and feel like, oh, like my face just looks so good. So I love this. It's absolutely fantastic. And another drugstore product, it is the, this is so beautiful. This is the Infallible uh, L'Oreal. Yeah, L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in Bronzed Taupe. This is gorgeous. This is beautiful all by itself, all over the lid. It's a gorgeous bronzy, it's a bronzy taupe color, right up my alley love that all in the eyes it just looks phenomenal all by itself for some reason when you put it in like it almost gives you the dimension of two different shadows like it just gets a little darker in the in the crease and mm, gorgeous I have a lot of these and I love them and this bronze taupe and amber rush are my two favorite that I would repurchase in a split second if something ever happened to them and then the last favorite is this uh, I've talked about this before but I don't think I've talked about this in a really long time. This is the Sonia Kashuk Eyes on IO Neutral Palette. This is the matte palette. This is a, phen like a phenomenal palette to have in your collection. It's all matte. They blend really, really well. They have a just a fantastic selection of colors in here. I love that there's some cool tones, some warm tones. I love that there's some lighter colors for like blending or for a highlight. I just think it's an all around fantastic, fantastic palette. And I actually really love this gray color right here. Like this one right over here. This actually looks really, really good. Like a light wash of color all over the lid. I just think it looks really good. So. It's a beautiful palette, worth having in your collection, especially because, let's face it, matte palettes, kind of hard to come by, that are really good quality and at a good price. This is around $20 from um, Target, and I would choose this over the, na the Naked Basics 1 and 2 any day, because it has more, like, more colors, more color selection, I guess. And then I have a couple of flops. I'll talk about the one that's not so terrible. The first one is the... I've had a lot of the, a lot of this. I mean, this is probably my third one. This is the Mac pencil in Subculture. Now, I purchased this over and over again because I was thinking, you know what? Maybe it just dried out. Maybe whatever, because it never shows up on me. So I ordered it again, and it doesn't show up on me. 
what is up? It shows up on my hand if I really kind of like, as you can see, I'm going quite a bit right here. It does not show up on my lips at all. I find that this one, I'm gonna give you a few here. Hold on, get my lip pencil closest, it's close to me, some of my lip pencils. Got an issue here? Uh, probably, okay. I can tell you that all three of these are flops. Most of the time, aside from these, all of my other MAC pencils are creamy. They just, beautiful pigmentation. They glide on the lips. These three, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it's, I repurchase them over and over and over again. The first one is Subculture. And I was talking about this this month because I've been trying to wear it this month. I haven't tried to wear these two in a while. This is the Naked Lip Liner. Now this is pigmented, okay? When you really work it. But it's the driest thing in the world. Like you put it on and it's just like flakes and it looks horrendous on the lips. I don't know what the, I don't know what the, you have to let me know if you have issues with any of these because I'm starting to think I'm crazy. And then the third one is In Sync or In Cinch. This is another one that's a really pretty color but it could not be more dry. It, it's, it's like chalk. Try to go to your kid's classroom or in someone's classroom, grab a piece of chalk and just put it on the lips and tell me it doesn't feel the same way as this does. It's terrible. I don't know what is wrong with those three lip liners. Maybe some of you can give me some advice on how to wear them. I tried wearing them over something. That's the thing. If I wear like a lip balm or something underneath of them, then they don't, they don't apply. Like they just kind of glide all over the place and there's no color that deposits. But the biggest flop for me of the month, probably of the whole year, because it's been a week and a half since I tried this and I'm still trying to recuperate my hair. Like I'm still trying to get my hair to come back from this. I don't know if you can see, but it's been looking a little dry lately and usually my hair looks very, I should never. I don't know why I like have to try new, th I never try new things with my hair or my skincare because I just know what works and I don't know why sometimes there's a little devil on my shoulder saying, try this, try this. I should listen to the angel on my shoulder saying, you love your bathed hair and never use anything different because your hair never works out the same. I was in Sephora and had, they had, Sephora had like a little, I guess, trial pack of this. And it is the Dry Bar Saki Balm Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. It came with like a little dry shampoo and a brush. I can't talk about the dry shampoo and the brush yet because I haven't tried them because I'm terrified. But I can tell you, I tried this one time. You see that? It nearly destroyed my hair. My hair was so dry and it was so frizzy. It was so bad, I could not round brush it. It was so knotted, I couldn't round brush it. It was just this most horrible thing I ever put on my hair. I don't know what it is about it, but it is sulfate free, paraben sulfate free, safe for color treated hair. I, it just, it ruined my hair. It's been a week and a half now and my hair is finally coming back to life. I've been doing macadamia uh, masks or whatever over and over again. I've done like a, a coconut oil mask as well and it's finally coming back to life. But trust me, this stuff destroyed my hair. I will never, ever, 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 ever pick up another product from this line again because I'm terrified. And I'm just never gonna try anything else except for my bane hair because I know that that works for me so well. <laughs> um, and I've been using that for years, but this destroyed my hair. If you have had the same problem with this, please let me know because I would love to know whether or not it's just me and my hair is very finicky, or this really made your hair feel like hay and just destroyed it. So that's that. Those are my favorites and my fails. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I know I've been probably chatting your ear off, but you know, these are my monthly favorites. It's serious business. These are the things that really stood out to me out of everything else because I do my weekly favorites. So I have to give them some respect, you know what I mean? So anyway, Thank you so much for watching, and I will be contacting the winner from last week's giveaway. I just want to say thank you so much for entering, or 
wasn't even entering, but whatever, participating. I wish all of you could win, but I promise, promise, promise I will do these giveaways much more often. Um, I want to do definitely, I definitely want to do one for the holidays because I think you guys deserve to win something special for the holidays because I really appreciate having you here with me. I hope you all had an amazing Thanksgiving and that you're ready for an awesome holiday season. I know I am. I'm getting a little bit too excited, but it's the holiday season. I'm supposed to get really excited. <laughs> so that is everything I've loved and some of the things I did not, and I would definitely tell you not to pick up the shampoo. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.